and soul exchanges right here. Okay, let's peep in and find out. It's as predicted. The same fellows, nothing's changed. The funny part is, <laughs> even the exact order of the heroes in each of the tiers is also the same. Wow. And this time it is for two days. Okay. Can be done one times per event. So that is pretty clear. They need to change the design to make it a little, make it look a little different. <laughs> but okay. That's irrelevant. So I avoided uh, speaking about these heroes because I didn't know if there would be a change and then there will be a repetition. Good morning, friends. Let's talk about these fellows quickly. So, tier of 10 heroes. The first fellow is Jabberwock costume. So you will get the original version also along with this in case you choose this one. <laughs> this is the key that makes this old hero, event hero, relevant today also because you can see the impact of the costume bonus. And also the benefit is the family bonus, but unfortunately it's available for two, three, four, five. They should change it to one, two, three. But mana gen and critical chance is always helpful. The talent node for critical chance is just 2%. It requires 125 or 250 or even more heroes. So you know how important this as a family bonus is. So you can see the stats. Pretty good. And so is the special gets the wings and double damage in case there's only one surviving fellow and obviously gives corrosive poison ailment. Pretty good hero. And uh, I remember when I started the game, I really wanted this fellow. Eventually got him in the fourth tier of the game. I use him occasionally for fun play. Second fellow is Micah. This chap is from the original lot of heroes introduced in the ninja <coughs> family. That was Garnet, Onyx, uh, Cobalt. Then there was this green one, I can't remember. And uh, which color am I missing? I think I've got everybody. So Micah was the holy fellow. Uh, not in the prime, though this soul connected benefit is useful. Defense and mana gen uh, enhancement helps. Shared damage helps. And of course, the issue is three charges. As I say, tower heroes get used in the first and the second part more, unless you're magic, then you, the first one gets used more than the second one. So yeah, still I would say useful for certain scenarios, for certain types of players. Third one, Eora and Fluffy. I'm having the morning coffee and chit chatting. Uh, Starfall family hero. So, this family bonus is available for one. Can self cleanse, which is really awesome. And available to one hero. In terms of the stats, low. So, destroys all minions from the target. So, an impact one, 600 damage to the target, although, you know, almost kills. This will be the 8th uh, 
power. So, and reduces max health of all enemies who own minions. And that's the unique part of the special. That's about boosted health, so. <sighs> yeah, the impact is double of that 404, even in case minion owner has boosted health. So that's um, also a useful hero for somebody, for sure. Noor, recently there was a video that surfaced that Noor, her minions are so powerful that they can really whack away the mega minion who's been the goblin's trump card. One of the many trump cards that goblins have, some goblins have. That's amazing. Or hard hitters, like I use hard hitters to knock off the mega minion. So yeah, old hero of the month. Very, very poor stats. For those fellows who like to look at the stats, slow hero. I mean, this is like now four star hero stats, except the defense part, the attack and health is terribly <coughs> bad. She was improved, so recovers a mini health. That's a strong minion. And uh, Sparrow minion hits the target. It destroys all minions from the target. So that's the unique thing that this minion does. But uh, Mega minion cannot be destroyed by these types. But um, five Sparrow minions can very quickly knock off the Mega minion. So that's that. And even the Element Link, if paired along with another 2020 Hero of the Month, it's pretty good 30 percent defense against special skills so she has something i think there are some people looking for her <coughs> frost the minion enhancing and mana speeding up hero <coughs> excuse me his own minions are like skeletal but he enhances other people's minions um well these days, uh, one looks for heroes that are good on offense because he would be terrible on defense. So, really not helpful uh, because those skeletal minions can be knocked off by the likes of Skari. You know, I'm not even getting into minion killers who will obviously deal a much better damage like in Ojima or <coughs> Alucard. But even a Skari that requires some whack so now I will leave it at that. All this is okay. So the first row, these are the five fellows. Mm. Who is exciting in this? I would say Jabber and Eora are the ones worth looking at if somebody is looking into this. There is a fair case for Mica too, for the shared damage, uh, also defense and uh, mana gen improvement in the first charge, which is available very quickly for survival. I, while playing bloody battle, I've been using Dolgon for survival uh, because uh, he charges in six tiles, two matches me and uh, he is technically the savior of the rest so yeah Micah could be absolutely handy in bloody battle kind of a situation I'll move to the tier of 15 heroes <coughs> first one we have a gargoyle Kemeni uh, this is cool. This is super cool. For four turns, it's available. They receive next four times, they receive a damage. It drops to one. This is just a fantastic passive. <coughs> Stone skin activation. Uh, stats, I would say nothing great. 
but this is a possibility of achievement. Of course, people look at stats. I'm a major fan of the special. So Cry for Absolution at average speed deals 330% damage to all enemies. It's something that is super cool because he's impacting all and deals additional 65% damage per status ailment that the, the caster has, taking the damage up to 655%. I would like to believe two to three uh, ailments. I would like to believe two ailments is what would be ideal. And uh, that's 130. So if I add 130, it's 460. It's 460 damage to all enemies in a fairly regular manner is decent damage. So yes, a little conditional, but a useful hero. <laughs> Eloise, one of the original heroes of the Raven family that came with the Clash of Knights. Uh, that defense of 793 in today's times and 1390 health is really low. 803 attack is also pretty low. This is how Ithapar looks like. Uh, her claim to fame is destroys all minions from all enemies and that is really useful and helpful because there are bulky bulky minions irritating minions and um, she comes into play then deals 270% damage to all enemies which is also a decent number the stats obviously reduce that and if enemy had minions they will resist new minions for four turns this doesn't apply to the mega minion but for every other minion so she's conditional <coughs> and in case a roster doesn't have <coughs> A minion killer just pick her up Winnie Fred who I keep calling Winnipeg Winnipeg in my head so I recently did a video and that's where I ended up calling her Winnipeg quite a few times and got corrected by myself so nice nature this is good class this is Brilliant Family, giving that plus 5% mana to solar heroes in the team and reduces the effect of defense ailments by 50%. So all your defense down and elemental defense down get reduced. Slow speed. When I look at those uh, stats, they're not so terrible, though they are low compared to today. And this totals up to a fairly decent number. Deals 550% damage, so she's the green, um, yeah, damage to the target, the attack chains through, the green Khufu. Uh, obviously doesn't give the ailment like Khufu, which is a very powerful ailment. Here it is, minus 54% attack for five turns. All hit targets are immune to new status effect buffs for five turns. So prevention of two types, the damage that is gonna come on to you is reduced and immunity from buffs to the opposite really helps because those five turns for both is really high and uh, if anybody gets this one this is going to be really the key apart from the specials this really is helpful so as a package she's brilliant this is also brilliant for her survival and uh, She's a good candidate to be picked up. Obviously, in regular play, there is a little bit of a challenge, <clears throat> but uh, in rush, absolutely top to be on uh, the defense also, because she is going to really impact all in case it's a chain, continuous chain. It's a damn good hero. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the attacking uh, Wanda. <clears throat> has the extra so costume Wanda and uh, has the I would say immunity to new status ailment there is an extra turn obviously deals a damage to all and uh, 
reduces uh, I my while talking my coffee cool down so I'm just going to warm that up and uh, she's the Merlovia chick <clears throat> Merlovia bonus is really useful but she's already very fast I doubt whether she requires this is a good class the bonus is okay this steering of buff is really cool and uh, is helpful in today's uh, meta where there's some real crazy stuff going on dispel is going to be penalized stealing is fine so yeah the passive is really helpful and i'll leave it at that this is the hero that i really love because the costume has been provided so you'll get the original uh, along with the costume very old hero but can you see the stats these stats are better than a hero that has arrived almost three and a half years after or four years after her rather i would say four or four and a half years after her is this one and she's slow so that's the benefit of this massive costume bonus so yeah the other benefit is this you pair multiple the bonus of mana generation being available is really awesome and uh, the element link also helps there's attack and defense up but here's the kicker that has been added the costume has the original doesn't have the costume has passive that has been given to the heroes from the legends family this character casts a special skill they dispel the newest so there is cleanse or dispel adel now there are some specials that are penalized if there is a dispel of the heroes impact done by the special skills as it has been in a, you know written in case of the owls and more heroes are going to come like that but when the passive dispels or cleanses it's not the special skills so you might have something over there uh, her special is still fantastic yes there are some who crib uh, that deals 290% to the target and minor damage to the nearby which would be half of that 145% okay a little damage less but <clears throat> this second part of defense down is really fantastic the other cool part is in case there is a fire hero sitting in one corner i whack the three target and nearby and the fire fellows get this particular ailment of elemental defense down also which is minus 34% defense against ice. And that is really cool because any defense down or any type of defense down is useful. Obviously she's gonna be used with multiple blueies. So she's fired first and hammer and tongs. So I would say really damn good hero. And Athena has been a dream of almost everybody in this game who understands the game and plays the game regularly. So in this 15 hero tier, who are the ones? There are useful. If you don't have a minion killer, get her. Well, she's good ailment block. They'll be useful. You'll get both the versions. So somebody who needs a red, impact all, she's there. But my recommendation in this would be, if you don't have Athena, and have a space for blue top pick just pick her up kemini impact all gargoyle very useful for regular everyday play and for specific special play some people might still play her every day i don't see myself playing her every day all the time so she is a good pick too I basically look for the top hero that I can play every, firstly level up immediately, play every day and regularly, 
that's my first option and then of course depending on now my roster is a bigger roster so it's impossible to get that kind of a hero or fairly close to impossible so obviously i water it down but that's my first can i level this hero quickly um uh, not the same day or the next day i mean it can happen over a week or 10 days also that's fine but quickly and then play with this hero regularly every day and how frequently and across how many aspects of the game that helps so that's that let's go into the 20 hero tier pretty pretty has been offered in the soul exchange who the fuck cares about those stats there are some who are going to look at the stats she'll say dude my eyes are up here <laughs> which is correct look up there so yeah that's the eighth power uh obviously fast speed charming healer and those lackey minions are not so skeletal but not so powerful and strong also but they steal random dispellable buffs and give it to its owner so stealing buff stealing minions are very useful again i have already explained before how regularly i use harder to steal because <coughs> still stealing has not been penalized i'm sure sometime that's going to happen too where they will add dispel or steal is going to be penalized by so many hp so yeah that could happen but till it happens let's enjoy and use this so she is really a good pick white rabbit costume so original will come with the costume this is really a good class of course this is a good bonus also unfortunately available to two and above but mana and critical chance excellent costume bonus huge so when you look at the stats those this hero is also five years plus old in the game or are at least four and a half years old in the game he existed before i came i started playing the game so those stats are really nice and at fast speed <coughs> wax three and gives defense down which cannot be cleansed so white rabbit is good phileas fog under wild fellow fire class so revival possibilities but those stats are epic hero stats base stats so that is really unfortunate but he does something crazy dispels the buffs first gives a whack and massive defense down elemental defense down against nature <laughs> yes when i look at aether power stats are not so terrible so <clears throat> there is a possibility to really spurs them up using emblems and aether i would if i were to take this hero i would not use this hero unless i've given this hero at least 20 emblems or 10 emblem nodes with lb1 <clears throat> because then the stats are improved and he is put to use and he can be used across the game honestly because there are too many taunts that are available or key fellows so that debuff and then whack comes in handy another pretty pretty original hero of the ninja introduction portal uh <clears throat> my thoughts go to the stats but i immediately come to the specials so the first one is basically a survival one second one comes in handy and third one is good impact but i <clears throat> still use her and i use the combination of first and the second the second one being used more often but she has still got her relevance because of the speed of charging and doing her thing that immunity really helps but 
I wouldn't rate her in the top uh, tier right now because yes, people say survival is an issue, which I will agree because I use Gazelle a lot. So the Gazelle buff saves a lot of the heroes that I use. So that's not the right benchmark to survival because reduce, reduce damage is an option not available to every hero in the game, in every roster. <clears throat> Or rather is a benefit not available to most rosters. So, um, Thetis, very unique hero. Okay, so that's the defense benefit available to one. So 5% would be about 35, so goes up <coughs> to 800 and something. 805 uh, in terms of, or 806, <coughs> starting defense because of this family bonus, Atlantis family bonus. Uh, okay, stats. <coughs> Fast speed, 300% damage to the target nearby enemies, which is actually a decent number. Water damage is there. All allies that are not ice get a plus 30% attack, which is really helpful and useful. Fast speed, so it happens fast. But the ice fellows get plus 60% attack for three turns, which is really brilliant. So yeah. And that's her Aether Power. So attack up, attack up, and whack. Really good hero to look at in case one is looking for a blue hitter and a buff provider. Obviously, she's going to be used with multiple other ice heroes. So it'll be that 60% attack really handy. So between the damage and the water damage, I would say it's a decent number. Uh, in this tier, I would rate uh, her to be a really unique hero worth picking up, dear Sean. Um, then it's a tie between this guy and this, depending on what you want. But if she is the focus, then this should be the focus in terms of the color. So across, I will first say across colors, depending on the color that one is targeting, she should be the top focus looking at and at the roster <clears throat> in terms of the color. Uh, if one is looking for clearly a red hero, then uh, this one, because with this, you can prolong her life. <clears throat> or use in the game. Uh, in terms of the color, obviously she's top, then it's him, and yes. In this, obviously he's the top uh, pick, but if you don't have a minion killer, <clears throat> without any doubt, just pick her up. Uh, in this, in the dark, obviously she should be the top choice, because an impactful healer at fast speed is always useful in the game. Then it's him and it's him. And if I'm looking at it from a color perspective, I would say same uh, benefit. The benefit that he scores maybe half a, uh, a, a few inches ahead of uh, costume, uh, Jabberwock, there are so many heroes, can't remember the name immediately. Kemeny is an impact all. So that's that. So those are my thoughts about uh, <clears throat> the soul exchange, the impact of the passives and impact of the hero specials is more important than the stats. There are enough resources available and more resources will come that will help improve the stats. So, and also, the stats changes or updates will constantly keep happening in the game. So that's also there. Sometimes it's conditional and sometimes it's not conditional. So that will keep happening. We know what is happening, you know, for the tunes. They could be impact one, but one tune kills three heroes on the opposite side. So as I've shown in a video that I made on the tunes. So that's that. Uh, 
top hero in this, I would say first I would like to say there are no mind boggling crazy heroes. So I do agree with some of the players that there's no mind boggling crazy heroes. I'm going to wait it out. Fair enough. But there are some fantastic heroes that provide a food for thought, you know, for certain players who might want to collect a hero, who might want to empty the roster space. And there is a fairly valuable hero available that can come in handy. So she is one. This fellow's defense down is another. Unique Eloise is another. Kemeny's impact all is another. Winifred is a useful one. Really a top use one, in case you don't have. Fun, unique fellow, wax the sides. And I will leave it at that and to an extent. Uh, I don't think so he will get picked up because many fellows who are looking for say a holy would rather pick up Eloise. But for somebody who only has 10 to trade, He's useful, so see what color you want. That's Those are my thoughts about the Soul Exchange. Uh, the thing is, which hero will I pick? Um, I wanted to pick her, I'll be very honest. This, first choice, this, second choice. I recently got two owls. I got Timius, the blue fellow. And I got Omidas, the dark fellow. So they have fixed their spots in the leveling traffic jam, which is already a jam. So <clears throat> I would have picked up right away. I am mulling, <clears throat> picking up Winifred, but I'm seeing a traffic jam in the greens. The only claim to fame that I'm keen is I pick up a bard hero as a collector and uh, level her up in the next couple of months. So that's where I'm thinking what I want to do. And hence, I'm not doing quickly. Otherwise, all other heroes I already have except Phileas Fogg. I don't have Phileas Fogg. And I don't have her costume, but I don't care because I don't use her. So I've stripped her off the... Emblems also, I don't use her. So, and I don't have this. So there are a few heroes that I don't have. But <clears throat> the one that currently I'm thinking, and the only part that I'm now, she is out. I'm not going to be taking her for sure. Because I have enough powerful blues to work on. It's between Kemeny and this one. So I'm going to do the decision hammer sometime today later today but i wanted to get my thoughts on all these heroes out so that uh, my fellow players and channel viewers can actually use it to their advantage that's that color wise the row wise and top in the portal wise i've pointed out See the hero that you can level up fast. See the hero that you will use daily and very regularly. See the hero that you can use across the game. And see the hero that impacts and enhances your roster. And for the few <coughs> who would like to wait it out, there is no harm in waiting out. I can tell you honestly. And um, adding a few extra space is very much there. You could also clean up uh, roster space by seeing which four stars and three stars you don't use or don't foresee using in future. And don't be worried that tomorrow there is a costume that will come because you'll have to still pull the costume. And if you can pull the costume, four stars and three stars are fairly easy to level up. So especially the three stars. So you can let some of the three stars go. So <clears throat> that's that. And um, if you don't want to spend on extra roster space, totally fine. You can uh, free up some space using dead heroes. And uh, those, the new ones will come in handy. So that's that. Um, let me...
make my decision <clears throat> and come back thanks good luck wish you well <clears throat> uh, with your decision making and may you pick up the hero of your choice wisely and uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video